Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I'm actually out camping and I just finished my supper. And I look back at my tent and it got me thinking, is it really worth it to buy a commercially available hot tent or is it better to buy a regular tent and then do a hot tent conversion yourself? So let's go over a few things that you might find interesting and a few things that you may find a little bit dangerous. Which is better, which is worse, is it really worth it? Let's have a look. Okay, so the first thing I want to point out is the general shape of the tent. Traditional hot tents, typically they are mostly found in a TP configuration. However, you can find some of them in a dome configuration. This tent is neither. This is actually a freestanding backpacking tent that I purchased with the sole reason of converting it into a hot tent because of the large vestibule allowed room for a stove and the pole geometry also allowed for a stove jack and a stove pipe. So I went ahead and converted it because I wanted a small two to three person backpacking tent that can be used as a hot tent or even as a regular tent in the summertime without a wood stove. So coming inside of the vestibule area, I'm gonna unzip this door and show you the living space that I have versus the outer space that I have. There is a major choice of me choosing this particular tent and it might be worth thinking about what kind of tent you wanna go for. I wanted a tent that has a removable mesh inner. So this whole inner tent can actually be removed from toggle. And then it's just an open style tent with no floor. So I could run it that way, or I could run it the way I have it right now in bug season with the mesh panel. There is also a solid panel on the other side of that. And this was really important for me because if I'm in the summertime or if I'm camping with friends or whatnot and I want some privacy and that stove jack offers a whole, if you're kind of getting changed, you probably don't want to have a little bit of privacy leakage. Not that anyone camping with you is going to be looking, but it's just nice to have a little bit of privacy. Not only that, this solid panel also blocks a lot of wind and blowing snow. If you do let the stove go out and you're in there sleeping, it has a solid panel or a mesh panel. And then looking inside, I have a floor, I have a bug net, I've got vents all over the place. The upper top of this tent is mesh, so the heat actually wraps all the way around the tent, given its kind of style to help reduce condensation. And the wood stove really, really maximizes this tent, this particular tent. Now keep in mind, I've done other hot tent conversions, and you may be looking at a different tent that you want to convert to a hot tent. It can be very, very enjoyable. So I've got a large living space in here and it gets very, very warm. And I also have a kind of dirty area out here because there is no floor out here. So I can process wood, I can cook, I can come in and out with my shoes on as I please. And the actual geometry and the configuration of this tent, the way the doors are, they're actually double zip. So if I want to zip this door all the way shut and then I want to open up the zipper this far, and fold the flap down, I can actually get a little bit of ventilation to let some heat out. So these were all things that kind of came into my mind when I saw this particular tent and I wanted to convert it. And so far for me, I absolutely love it and it was worth it. So one very important thing that you want to consider when choosing a tent for the sole purpose of converting it into a hot tent is what stove are you going to be using in that shelter? So I chose this tent because it'll work with my small stoves and my large stoves. I could turn them sideways, I could run them straight, I could turn them on a diagonal, whatever I wanna do, I can do. But one really safety kind of concern you may have is the clearance between the walls. So this tent actually does not have, the, the vestibule doors do not actually go to the ground creating a seal. They have kind of a cat cut, which is very apparent on the front side, which I'll show you in just a second. But one thing you really wanna look out for is clearance in front b-side behind the stove but also above the stove so you'll notice that right here this wall is actually angled being above the stove well heat rises so if heat rises too quickly it may melt the fabric i mitigated that by adding a guy out point on the side to pull it out to give it an extra three to four inches of clearance to help dissipate the heat okay so coming over to the front of the tent now you can clearly see that catenary cut on the bottom of the fly there's a good probably six to seven inches of clearance there to allow air to come in. So this particular tent is not going to get crazy hot. I basically made it to stay warm and to do cooking inside. The air draft does come in here. I could make snow skirts, but then I believe the heat would build up way too much and this wall might actually melt because touching it right now, 
it's warm, but it's not hot. But just be aware of that if your door does kind of seal down and there's no airflow going through, this fabric on any tent, if it's on an angle, might get hot enough to actually melt. And so the last thing I want to point out with a DIY converted tent is the length of stovepipe that you're going to be running. This particular stovepipe is actually a custom cut stovepipe. It was a three meter pipe. I cut it down to a safe height that wasn't going to be too high or too low because once it exits the stove jack, it doesn't have that support to deal with the wind. So you really don't want it that high. So I do have guy lines going off of the spark arrestor down to the ground in a triangle formation to hold that pipe nice and steady. And it being a little bit shorter makes it a little bit safer for the wind but it being shorter will also introduce more blowing sparks into the tent as it would if it were higher. Burn hardwood, that's the way to get around it. If you burn softwood full of resins, it'll snap, it'll pop, a lot of sparks will come out. I'm burning oak and maple today. I haven't seen any sparks shoot up the top. There are no damage holes to the tent at all. So that's kind of one thing that I would like to point out when you're converting a tent is look at where the stove jack's gonna exit, how much clearance do you have inside, and then how much pipe is gonna be outside of the tent as well. Okay, so that's enough talk about the DIY converted hot tent. Let's talk about the manufacturer ready hot tents that are available commercially. They have already put the research and development into those tents. They marked out where the stove jack's gonna go. They've already tested it. They've gone through the whole process. So basically when you buy a commercial ready hot tent, it is exactly that. It's ready, it should be safe if it passed all the quality control, and it should be a ready to go tent to have some fun with. Going this route really demands a lot of experience in hot tenting, so if you're new to hot tenting, I will say absolutely do not convert a tent for a stove because you're gonna end up in a lot of trouble at some point. I recommend going to a readily available commercial hot tent they're a lot safer, they're easier to get into. You can just purchase one, boom, it's ready to go. Get your stove, slap it in, and you're ready to go. Doing it this way is a little bit more rewarding because you get to choose your tent style. There are much more tents available on the market, and it's, it's fun, it's a little bit different, and someone might not have that tent. They might see it and go, geez, what tent is that? That's a great hot tent. And you can say, it's mine, I converted it. Okay, so to wrap things up, is it worth it to buy a commercially available hot tent? or is it more worth it to do a DIY conversion? So going over everything that I've already spoke about, there are pros and cons. For me personally, this was definitely worth it for me to convert a tent. But keep in mind, like I said, I've converted many tents to do this and I've been hot tenting for a very long time. I don't recommend you do it if you're just getting started. But for me, looking for a two to three person backpacking tent with the vestibule and a screen mesh enclosure for sleeping that runs a stove, I can't find one on the market, but I could find this and I could put a stove jack in it. So that might be something to think about if you're looking for a very specific type of tent to fit your needs. It might be worth it DIYing it, but just be aware of what you're getting into because there are a lot of dangers that go along with it, more so than you might think so. So is it worth it or is it not? Drop it down in the comment section and let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.